Hey, what's up guys? It's me, John Avenger, once again, and welcome to another non-Marvel superhero film month. And this is not a DC movie. This is a uh, independent movie superhero film, in a way. And it is from two, two th the 2000s, I believe. Yeah, 2008. And it's a film you never heard of. So this is a way to expose this film, because you guys need to see this at least once. Special. This is with Michael Rappaport, who is fantastic in this movie. Definitely Oscar-worthy performance. He's no or he he's not your ordinary superhero. Nope, he's not. See, so this is one of a superhero film as well. A standout, laugh out loud, funny, and deeply emotional. I agree with that. This is very a very emotional film from 2008. Now, what drew me to this film? Well, I bought it at a yard sale a long time ago, and I never heard of it. I'm like, oh, cool, Michael Rappaport in the film that. It's independently made by Magnolia Entertainment. They do a lot of independently made films. And I love independent films. Some people think I'm too mainstream, that I love only the stuff that is in mainstream theaters. But no, I went to at least two theaters in my life that are independent theaters that show no mainstream stuff. Everything they show is art house flicks, independent movies, and uh, stuff that's lesser known, which is one of these films. And this is a really good movie. If you have, you know, I know, well, I'm probably one of two people that saw this. Let me read the synopsis because I don't remember all of it. Les Franken, who uh, Michael Rappaport, great freaking acting performance, is a kind hearted and soft spoken man who loves reading comic books, just like me. And he's the type of guy who most people walk up by on the street without even noticing. However, everything changes for Les the day he is accepted into an experimental drug study. He's kind of like, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Electro, that he wanted people to notice him, but this is done way better. And this didn't have a $200 million budget. Anyway, let's continue. As he begins to take the drugs, an unexpected side effect occurs. He develops special powers. Awesome. And in an effort to use his new talents for protecting others... Les finds himself in a predicament to save himself. Yeah, because he gets addicted to the drugs. And, of course, you know, the power is eventually going to fade out. You stop taking the pills. You stop taking it. Yeah, and this is not a movie for your kids either. It's not super graphic. It's just, you know, it's not a kid's movie. This is an R-rated uh, film. There's some violence. It says language violence and some brief drug use, you know, the pills. So it's it's basically like if Chronicle had, uh, they were taking pills instead of touching an ash. Boy, that's another film I need to review because it's a superhero film in a way. And uh, it's also in, uh, kind of independently made. That's what it feels like. It's a found footage film. But this, really good cast in this movie. Like I said, Michael Rappaport, did, he should have gotten a, nom a nomination for either a Golden Globe or a Spirit Award or an Oscar. Because this is fantastic. That man, could he, he's always been a good actor. He did a voice of a raccoon in, in Dr. Doolittle 2. Uh, he he did um he was in deep uh, deep blue sea he was one of the white guys there of course he dies because Rappaport you know he dies in some of his films um this also has uh Josh Peck from Drake and Josh it's got um what you might call it uh, Alexandra Holden I think she's done some stuff Jack Keller Black Paul Blackthorne yeah, he's the guy from Arrow the not the uh, not the guy that plays Arrow he plays uh. Uh, what's it called? Laurel's d dad, and he's some British guy. I'm like, eh, I can take him or leave him. I'm not really that interested in him. But uh, the rest of the cast is really spot on. It's a good movie. It's really short, too. It's only 81 minutes. Normal superhero movies go for like between like an hour and 45 minutes to two, over two hours long. Yes, I'm just looking at you, Justice League. You're one of the longest superhero movies that's going to be in theaters this year. And I'm giving you a chance, unlike some people. Wink. Yeah, but I'm not going to start a, a war here because this is, I'm on YouTube to entertain you guys. I'm not here to make friends with everybody. You know, sometimes I'm going to review films like this that people have never heard of and people either they love it or they hate it or they just don't like independent movies. You can't please everybody, but I do like this movie. It is a really good film. I love the art direction. Um, the director is two directors wrote this and directed it. Uh, Hal Haberman and Jeremy Passmore. Really good stuff. They are basically what the Wachowskis wish they were now. Because by 2008, their careers were done. They did Speed Racer, it bombed, and they haven't recovered since. And it says, undeniably compelling. Yeah, because Rappaport, you see the transformation from him being the shy, you know, kind of timid guy with a, not, with a good heart. So that's why these powers, when he's like flying and floating and doing crazy stuff, it's really, really compelling. I really... 
really intriguing film. And Rappaport, yeah, gives possibly the best performance of his career. I absolutely agree with that. Definitely. Ain't it cool news? It is fantastic. I wish that there was a commentary on this to show what, a, what an amazing actor he is. Like, he doesn't just do the New York accent. The guy can act. And it's just insane. Like, I'm like, I knew he can act, but in this movie, he's like, it's a very subtle performance. It's like Birdman, but a lot shorter. You don't need to make an art house flick two and a half hours. Sometimes short and sweet is 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 the is can't be beat. There, I said it. And uh, the movie is really, really well done. Like, I, I love the cinematography in the movie. Like, it, it's a really good looking movie for a low budget, which is great. That's why I like independent movies. They look fantastic, like Rubber. That movie that came out in 2010 uh, with that killer tire. And, you know, it, when a film looks really good and it draws you in and it doesn't need CG all the time in your face or, you know, actors being in your face like this or stupid 3D gimmicks, which I'm getting sick and tired of. No, this film is telling a story through its visuals, through its acting, through its premise, which is awesome. They did this premise again in, in uh, Limitless. Basically, uh, you know... Uh, Bradley Cooper takes a dr an experimental drug and he develops abilities. He's not a superhero, though, but it's similar. And I do think this film is underrated. Like, it gets a decent rating on IMDb, but nobody has talked about this film. It's a superhero film with a lot of heart. It's not some kiss, kiss, bang, bang, you know, freaking mainstream film, which I like, which is always refreshing. Like, I need to see different kinds of films. I am a screen junkie. Yes, I am. I see all kinds of films, not just the mainstream stuff. I see silent pictures. I see independent movies. I see short films. I see animated shorts. I see foreign films to an extent. Let me, let me make that clear. I've been to two theaters that have been independently funded. There's uh, the theaters in Manhattan, the Film Forum. I went to the IFC Center, but I didn't see anything. And there was this other theater in the village I went to where I saw uh, me and Orson Welles with Zac Efron. Really good film. Sometimes I want to be sucked into the film because film is art. And this is this this film was done with an artist mentality. And that's something I've never said here on YouTube. That yes, sometimes a film can tell a story by being a work of art, by painting a picture. And that's how you do films right. Not throwing everything in my face. Sometimes subtlety is a goes a long way. And Michael Rappaport in this movie definitely delivers. There's some features on the DVD. There's outtakes and there's an HD net, a look at the specials. But that's all there is. This, this should have had a commentary by the directors because this is very intriguing. Like, I love premise premises to films that just suck me in. I'm like, oh, an experimental drug. And we've done that before. But it's it makes them develop superpowers, which is super cool. And it has a very uh, a title that's... Uh, you know, short, special. Not, there's no, like, long title. It's not in another language. It's not pretentious. This movie is not pretentious. It looks great, and unlike Prometheus, this film is much shorter, and it gets to the point, and it doesn't beat you over the head with its message. It works. And this is a movie you gotta check out. Special from 2008. Same year that we had some awesome superhero movies like The Dark Knight, Iron Man, and The Incredible Hulk. Yeah, that was an awesome year for film. Definitely. And this is one of the, uh, the hidden gems that I found from that year. So definitely watch Special. It is worth your time. I think it's online, so it's easy to find. And it's on DVD. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Watching my videos. You know, I know I've had a rough week. I mean, last week I saw all the Harry Potter films in my college. And I had to sit on these horrible chairs hurting my back. And uh, the movies were really long, so that took a lot out of me. This week, I'm going to take it easy. Because the weather's going to get better. Guardians is a couple of weeks away, and I'm going to blow my wad when I see that. It is going to open my eyes, and it's going to redeem my year. Because so far, the year has been up and down. You know, bad weather, bad allergies, bad films, bad drama here on YouTube from some users, which I'm not going to mention any names, and some bad, you know, some 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 bad, you know, moments in my at home. But it's all going to be better, because soon I will see the Guardians on the big screen, and I will enjoy it just like I enjoyed this film when I first saw it. So thanks, guys, for watching. You guys are awesome. Keep on subscribing and liking. I'm not a phony here on YouTube. What When I speak my mind, sometimes it's going to make people happy, and other times it's going to piss them off. But you can't please everybody.
I have friends. I know which group I belong to here on YouTube. I found my niche, and I'm here to stay. There you go. Take that with a grain of salt, haters. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next review.